11. What are you in like 10th grade? No? What grade are you in? First grade? You guys look so much older. You guys are beating your good vegetables, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah? I know. You guys are all so tall. Well, my name is Haley. Today I am going to tell you all about a story called Belinda in Paris by Amy Young. Does anybody know where Paris is by any chance? Yeah? You know? It's actually over in Europe in a country called France. Has anybody heard of France before? Yeah, they speak French there, just like we speak English. Yes, exactly. French fries are from France. You're correct. Okay, so we're going to say a French word. We're going to practice, okay? Can everyone say bonjour? That means hello in French. So today, this is Belinda in Paris by Amy Young. Are you ready? Ready? All of Paris was abuzz with the news. Belinda the ballerina was coming to perform. <gasps> Belinda is coming, said the grocer to the lady in the pink. <gasps> Belinda is coming, said the lady in pink to all of her friends. Can everybody say that with me? Ready? One, two, three. Belinda is coming. Good job. Everybody in town was so excited for her performance, except for one person, and that was Belinda. It wasn't that her tutu was a little bit too tight, which it was. It wasn't that this was a very big performance with the best ballet company in all of France, which it also was. No, it was that when Belinda's airplane, everybody fly your airplanes with me in your seats, ready? When Belinda's airplane arrived to France, she was told by the flight attendant, ah, mademoiselle, I regret to inform you that your shoes delivered to Pago Pago instead of Paris. But do not worry, you will have them within one week. But one week wasn't going to be fast enough. You see, one thing about Belinda is that she had huge feet. Everybody stretch your arms as wide as you can with me. Huge feet. And without the right shoes, she would be a complete flop. So Belinda was down. She got in a taxi and drove to the ballet company to deliver the bad news. Everybody drive your taxis with me. When she got there, the littlest ballerina of them all, Gabrielle, looked at her feet and said, oh, you need new ballet shoes. Come on, come with me. I'll show you where to buy some. So they ran through the streets of Paris to a store that sold ballet shoes. Everybody run in your seats. When they got there, the clerk took one look at her large feet and said, oh la la. Everybody say that with me. Oh la la. Those are the biggest feet I have ever seen. Let me check in the back to make sure we have your size. So he checked in the back and he brought out the biggest pair of shoes they had in the whole store. But they still didn't quite fit. So Belinda, she was going to have to have them specially made. She said, where do I have them specially made, though? I'm not from here. I don't know where to go in Paris. And the clerk, he said, ah, do not worry. I can point you in the right direction. As to fabric, you should try Madame Sophia. She is the very, very best. So they hurried off to go find Madame Sophia. On the way there, they smelled a wonderful smell. Everybody take a deep breath with me. <sighs> It smelled like bakery. So they passed a baker. His name was Monsieur Fromage, and he said, have some quiche. A croissant? An eclair? No, thank you, Melinda said. We're in a hurry, but maybe next time. He said, ah, oh, what a shame. All of this beautiful food will go to waste because a party was just canceled. But have a great day, and they waved goodbye. So when they got to Madame Sophia's, they found the shop in an absolute uproar. Everything was going crazy. Everybody was yelling and screaming, and it was just going wild. But Gabrielle, the littlest ballerina, she tapped on Madame Sophia's shoulder and said, Excuse me, ma'am, this is Belinda the Not Now, Madame Sophia whipped around and said. I have a fashion gala in one hour, and my caterer just had an accident. I don't know what to do. All of the party is ruined. We have no food. But suddenly, Belinda had an idea. She thought to call somebody. Does anybody know who she called? The baker. The baker. You're right. They called Monsieur Fromage for help. And he said, oh, my goodness, I would love to cater to the party. And he brought all the food for all of the guests. Madame Sophia was so thankful that she gave Belinda a beautiful piece of pink silk. So she hurried off to the cobbler shop. But she was worried. She said, we still don't have a form for the shoes. What can we make? So they thought for a second, everybody put your thinking caps on. And suddenly she knew just what she would do. She asked Monsieur Fromage for a favor. Well, two favors really, and then hurried back to go find the cobbler. She thought about two beautiful baguettes for the form of her shoes. Who knows what a baguette is? Is anybody? 
it's like a form of bread. So it's a big piece of bread that's about this long. So it would be perfect for her shoes. So they got to Monsieur Luke's, the cobbler, and he said, did you bring me things to have them specially made? She said, yes, I did. Beautiful silk and beautiful baguettes. And he said, ah, perfect. This will be wonderful. And he got to work. So they stitched. Everybody stitched with me. And he cut. Everybody cut. And he measured. And voila. Everybody say that with me. Voila. The shoes were complete. Belinda tried them on and they fit perfectly. She was so comfortable in her new shoes. So that night, she was so ready to dance and she danced better than she ever did ever before. So from the crowd, Madame Sophia said, it is the beautiful silk which glistens and shines. While Monsieur Luc, the cobbler and the shoemaker said, it is my fine workmanship which has created the most beautiful shoe. While Monsieur Fromage, the baker said, it is the baguettes which are just the right size and shape for the form. But Gabrielle, the littlest ballerina of them all said, it is all of those things. But most importantly, it is Belinda. She is magnifique. And that is Belinda in Paris by Amy Young. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah?